one more thing I want to show you with um, the, the window layouts here is reorganizing some of these tabs here uh, within Premiere. Um, all right. If you look at every one of these little tabs here, you'll notice you got this little kind of fuzzy mark right there, that little fuzzy, or whatever that is, this little kind of grab tab, I guess. Uh, what you can do if you want to reorganize some of these windows um, is you can actually grab those tabs, and this is going to come in, uh, in um, th this will be important a little later as well as we start editing, but you can actually grab these tabs right here, and you can drag them, and you'll notice it brings up, I haven't let go yet, but you'll notice as I'm dragging this tab here, this audio mixer tab, uh, and I move it around the windows, it brings up this little square with these kind of sections along the side here. Um, what this will do, if you drag it right in the middle here, it's going to actually add it back. You'll notice it didn't do anything there. But it's going to restore a window in a section of tabs here. Like if I grab my effects tab here and I drag it up here and drop it in the middle, it's going to add it to the rest of these tabs. Here, drop it there. It has added it to this section of tabs right here. That's what that middle square is for. So if I want to restore that, I'm going to grab this, drag it down here, and put it right in the middle square where the middle square turns uh, that bluish color and let go. And it's added it back to this uh, region right here. Now, if you want to just simply change the arrangements or the hierarchy of tabs here, you just simply grab this tab. Uh, you don't grab the uh, the little grab tab here. You just grab the name drag it over and it will change where it exists on this little tab here. Now if you are if you want to see other tabs you'll notice you, if you've added so many tabs you'll notice that you'll have this little teeny bar right here. Grab this bar, you're going to kind of got to aim, grab it and it will move over and reveal other tabs if you've got so many tabs here that you can't see them. See the tabs over to the side here. You simply grab this bar and drag it back and forth. Um, so once again, if you grab the name, you can drag kind of the, the change the hierarchy or, or where it exists in this kind of tab layout. Uh, if you want to add this tab to a different window area, you can grab this by the little kind of rough edge here, drag it up till it turns to this blue square, drop it, and it adds it. Now, um, if I grab this tab and I drag it and take it up to one of these sections right here or here, what it's going to do is create a new window uh, it's going to add basically like a double window um, with this media browser on top and those other tabs over here on the bottom. So if I gr right now I've got to hold the media browser tab. I'm going to let go on top. And you notice it put the media browser up here and it put all the rest of the tabs down here. So if I want this arranged on the bottom, I'm going to drag that down and drop it here and it puts it on the bottom. If I drag it here over to the side, it'll put it onto the side and we have a side-by-side -side layout of uh, those tabs. Drag it over to the left, let go, there you go. But if you want it to share the space, you just simply drag it to this middle square, let go, and it shared the space. It's kind of crammed everything over as it's adding more program space there. I'm just going to drag that over. So if I want the media browser back down, drag it down here, put it in the middle square, or if you put it on top, we will put it, layer it, like we showed, or if you put it in the middle section, there you go. Then if you want to get everything back to normal, go into Workspace. Notice I'm selected on Editing. If I tell it to work, reset that current Workspace editing, it'll reset it to its original layout. There you go.